Hey Libra, how you doing? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We're checking in for your energies and seeing what's happening for you the week ahead. We've got uh, Jupiter going direct in Taurus on the 30th. Um, we've got Mercury stationing direct on the 1st. There's a lot of cool things happening. So let's get some uh, energies out and see what's happening for you and what you need to know. All right. We've got... Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. We've got appreciation energy. And door to value. Okay, Libra. So overall, what we can see here is there's something intuitively that you may uh, be connecting to. It's, it's interesting. I think uh, Pisces may have got this earlier in the week. So if you have any Pisces placements, but um, there's something here about a direction you want to go or something that seems to be on your mind that you're trying to connect into intuitively is what it seems. It's asking you to really look at the situation and don't focus on what's not there. Look at what is there. I don't know if this is some opportunity or something of that nature that's presenting itself because Whatever this is, I think your view on it is going to make the difference because there's something here that has a lot of potential with this door to value energy. I think, yeah, there, there seems to be a little bit lacking because her back is towards the the roses, okay? Um, so there's something flourishing here, but she's just looking at the one that she has and maybe she's grateful for that, right? Even though this is not showing much growth or healthy growth, um, There's something here about valuing something and not turning your back on what is there. In addition to, like I said, this situation or what's showing up here for you is showing pretty, pretty solid opportunity with this door to value monetarily. Um, something here just want, will grow is what it seems. So this could be monetarily. This could be, you know, energetically. Something here is just growing, which is great. All right. Uh, we've got Queen of Pentacles here. We have got Ace of Cups. What else do we need to know? We've got the Hierophant. Wow. And the Page of Cups. Well, this is looking good. So whatever is happening here, that this is showing a strong sense of, of stability. This is also showing um, a blessing something that's overflowing, something that's deeply felt here with this Ace of Cups. This could be a new love or new connection or like a, a rebuild, a new start here um, to some commitment, something about wanting to go deeper with this commitment. Um, this could be quite a significant spiritual connection that you have in terms of this situation. Yes, this can be love. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups to the Page of Cups. Um, yeah, there's some blessings showing up here that seems pretty solid and a pretty significant opportunity that maybe you've been waiting for here, Libra. In addition to that, I just feel spiritually, you know, taking care of yourself, going deeper on that is what's going to present more blessings and the love and the opportunities come in, I think are naturally going to grow from that. If this is a connection you've been wanting to go deeper with or move forward with, we can see um, the potential here. It just seems a bit newer. So like I said, I feel there could be um, a significant uh, connection here that you have more on a spiritual level. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, we've got the full energy. Ace of Cups, we've got the Six of Cups. The Hierophant Strength Energy. I did see the Two of Cups flip, but it went back over. And then the Knight of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> so it seems like there's some new beginning, like I said, something, some chance that someone's taking here to move forward, whether this is you on something or someone towards you. But I can see with this Ace of Cups and this Six of Cups, there this could be an energy that you already know. Maybe, you know, someone that you had a commitment with once upon a time or have known for a long time, even from certain communities or groups that you used to be a part of. But I just, I feel like there's a special connection here, whatever this is, that's going deeper or that's opening up 
Yeah, there's something really amazing happening here, Libra, whatever this is. In addition to that, you're being called to have confidence here around something with this strength energy, a new confidence, having courage to move towards something. Um, there's something to do with your past that you're trying to connect into. Let's get a little bit more here. What do we need to know with the Six of Cups energy? Okay. So for some of you, you might have been, you may be on your own for a while or have been used to doing things on your own, okay? Um, yeah, see? And with a new opportunity or someone showing up, could either be showing up with an apology if that's related to this energy or could be showing up in, I'm, I want to take things to a whole new level. I, I don't know. There's some reason here that you might be a little... Um, not so confident about it. What do we need to know about this strength energy? Yeah, so this is something close to home for you. Going from the nine to the 10, I feel like this, either you had some form of separation from someone here, Libra, and someone's coming towards you to apologize to get back to this 10 of pentacles because I do see a significant connection here or someone that you've had a past connection with. Um, so someone is showing up with interest here or requesting a new beginning. Maybe you're married to this person um, or some form of commitment here. But there's definitely something about being appreciated, valued, um, regarding this situation and I think once someone really looks at that part of this connection or situation you're going to start seeing things uh bring more depth more connection more abundance to this you know connection opportunity whatever this may be what's the final message here for Libra we've got temperance Got Seven of Swords and the Magician. So I feel like this is something that you've been calling in here, Libra. Um, maybe a part of like naturally you haven't potentially been realizing that your own work that you've been doing or taking care of yourself and, you know, putting yourself in a really strong position just on all levels, you know, body, mind and soul, that something has naturally healed or balanced out. Amongst it though, I can just see this little part of you going, I don't know, like there's a little bit of self deception here, perhaps in some way, or you're concerned of whether you're going to get the truth from this person or they're going to show up in their truth. There's something around this that you, you have in question around the integrity of it, it feels, but it's also a part of this is I feel like you've been manifesting for this to come together or desiring this type of connection or whatever this is. So this is looking super promising. I think there's also a part here. Um, you may be questioning, like I said, some form of integrity or some form of manipulation. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, there could be love bombing that comes on in because we can see a lot of love showing up here. A lot of cups like, Hey, I'm interested. Oh, wow. You must be my soulmate. You know, maybe you're getting that and it's freaking you out a little bit. Um, but I think you're going to have the discernment here either which way, because like I said, we're moving from the nine of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles. So wherever there's been very strong independence or very strong doing just you, we can see this potentially moving to or coming back together in the sense of this 10 of pentacles energy, which is in the home space, which is feeling really good about it. There's abundant, beautiful energy here. And like I said, the daughter value is really showing up. So there's a lot of goodness that's growing here. Uh, that's looking really, really nice. So I have fun with that Libra for the week. I'd love to hear where you're from um, and your sun, moon and rising in the comments below. And I look forward to connecting with you in another week. We'll speak soon. Bye now.